decision. Live here, reading Pennsylvania here with Coach Ronnie Shields. How's everything, Coach? Everything good, man. I just heard the great news. Your fighter just fought, I believe. Yeah, he and fought in one first round. Yeah, what what was the um, what impression the most? I know it was the first round knockout. Well, you know, it's his first fight back. It's his hand surgery, and I wanted to test him out really well, see how everything was going to go, and uh, he did everything perfectly. Okay, go. Thank you for boxing. A lot of upset. A lot of great fights. Jamal Charles Hessler in the Barclays Center once again yes. against uh, Dennis Hogan. Yes. Um, I think it marks the one year that him and his brother, yes. same card, and you know, unfortunately yeah. the other brother lost. But what's his mindset going back to the Barclays Center? Because I think it left a sour taste, do you think, in, in, in no, some ways? He loved, he loved fighting at the Barclays. Okay. You know, so he's excited. He can't wait to get there. Okay. You see, have you seen that fight with Mungia and Hogan? Yes. Did you learn anything from that fight? Well, I mean, Mangia has a different style than Jamal Jones. Okay. So the style is very different. You know, Jamal is a little bit busier, I believe, and is a lot stronger. Correct. So, but, you know, Hogan, you know, he, he's been around the ring. Yeah. He knows his way around the ring. So we expect him to go fight. There's a lot of, uh, I don't want to say criticism, but there's a lot of flaws in boxing, loopholes, especially with this WBC franchise. Uh, what has Jamal said in terms of the elevation? We know he's a world champion, right. but has he said to you, I'd rather, you know, it's it's a good feeling to be awarded, but maybe just get a, a, a top two point, top three in right. the weight class. His feeling is this. Okay. You know, he was the number one contender. Yeah. He wanted to fight Canelo. Correct. No give saying the bus about it. Correct. But, you know, but Canelo wanted to go up to fight Kovalov. You know, look, and that's a great move for Canelo because he's in a win-win situation. If he wins, he advances to another level in the state of boxing. Correct. Which is good for him. But if he loses, it's also good for him because at least he took a chance on, you know, going up to match his skills against the best fighters in the world. Is there more respect to Canelo? Not to say that um, every fighter should be respecting sport of boxing, but I mean yeah. was more like a couple years ago, it was like Canelo dragging up welterweights, junior welterweights, to his respective weight classes. Do you feel that now that he's doing the opposite of, now he's moving up to a bigger man's weight class, do you give him a little bit more of a respect? Of course I give him, okay. I give Canelo a lot of respect. Okay. You know, and the only way we're going to get respect is to fight Canelo. Correct. You know, so we wait, that's what we're waiting on, okay. to see what he's going to do. Okay. So in the meantime, we're going to just stay busy, keep fighting, and Hopefully one day we can make that fight. Ultimately, which fight do you believe will put Charlo in, in, in that demand where fans will be like, Charlo, Canelo, just like they did Triple G Canelo. Like, when is, like, let's say, a, a Demetrius Andre, maybe a J-Rock, I know that he, he beat him at 54. Like, right. what, what will it have to take for Charlo and the fans to get that demand for that fight? Well, you know what, no. Canelo has to find opponents to fight, you know. And after, after Cole law, who knows what's next? Yeah. You know, it's a whole lot at 168 also. So he can say, well, I'm going to go up to 168, and I'm going to fight those guys at 68. But in the interim, what we're going to do is just keep on doing what we do. There you go. Stay busy and just wait. You know, I've been in the boxing all my life. Correct. And I understand that you have to wait your turn. Correct. Everybody have a turn. You know, just like with Floyd Mayweather, who's champion, Canelo was coming up. He waited. He got his chance at a very young age, but he still got the opportunity. Then after that, he slowly built himself back up. And you know, but you just have to wait. Yeah. Opportunities come for those who wait. Talking about lastly, with, with this, I'll end it with this one. Lastly, Kovalev, one of his main arsenal, jab. He knocked out Yard with a jab. We know that Yard was too big, and you know the condition yeah. got to him. He got yeah. knocked out with a jab. Is people underestimating Kovalev's jab? Leading up to next week against Canelo, will that be a, a factor going into that fight? I know it's going to be a factor, but can he capitalize behind using his jab? That's going to be the thing. Anybody can have a good jab, but it's the way you have to use it that's going to be effective. I think I think with Butter McGurk, you know, Kovalev is going to really be focused. You know, just watching him in his last fight, you know, I really saw him to focus in. So look. I really believe it's going to be a great fight. It's going to be a good fight. And if Kovalev can control 
with the jab, he can win. Thank you for the time, Ronnie Show. We're going to enjoy the rest of the show. We'll see who wins tonight. Thanks, coach. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.